I put my five hours of research in this 10 minutes of video content. In case if you are a regular ChatGPT user, Google Bart user, you must take a pass in case if you do not know about this tool, which is perplexity.ai. In case if you know it, well and good. Really appreciate you all. In case if you do not know about it, you must know this tool because perplexity.ai, this got released in January 2023 and it is very similar to ChatGPT, but it has some differences. What are all the benefits of knowing this perplexity.ai? What are the similarities? What are the differences? Everything we are going to study here. All right. So you must know this particular tool so that you can use it in your day to day works. Let's get started. Now, we all know OpenAI released ChatGPT in 30th November 2022, right? So now what is the goal of this particular um, OpenAI ChatGPT AI tool is nothing but they wanted to give better search experience without any ads. So now without any ads, that is very important, right? In case if you are browsing through the internet, if, you, if you're able to see different advertisements coming into the picture, it really frustrates your uh, search experience, right? So that's why many developers or almost all the people started migrating to the ChatGPT and asking questions and also it is giving you the best answers. So without any ads, they are getting a better experience. So that is the goal which OpenAI had to release a chat GPT tool that is better search experience without any ads for the user. With the same goal, Perplexity also, which is another uh, company, they also had the same goal and they just came up with this Perplexity.ai tool and they released on 20th of January 2023. And what is this Perplexity.ai tool? Sorry, AI company. Let's have a quick introduction about them. Perplexity.ai was founded in August 2022. Just one year before, now we are in October 2023. So just one year before, it was founded by Andy, Aravind, Dennis, Johnny, and it has been headquartered in San Francisco, California. Just imagine one year bundling company, if they're able to come up like this, a great revolution uh, who can compete chat GPT, imagine their portfolio, all four people portfolio. It is tremendously great. You just need to go and check out in the LinkedIn portfolio they have doing really amazing works. Right, now anyway, ChatGPT came first. They have seen, okay, ChatGPT, what this ChatGPT is not able to do, I wanted to release it. So keeping that in mind, they were working on this perplexity and within two months they released it. So now before that, we need to understand what is the language model used to behind ChatGPT. Even in my last content also I've told you, we should know what is the, ChatGPT is an AI tool, perplexity.ai is an AI tool, but behind that there is an intelligence factor. So that intelligence factor, what is that? What is that language model it is giving or helping the ChatGPT AI tool and perplexity AI tool to give this kind of content? That is nothing but GPT 3.5 which is a language model helping the tools to give the prompt answers or prompt responses. So, because even in the last content, I've asked the question, what made OpenAI to come up with ChatGPT2, sorry, GPT2 model? Why GPT3 model? Why is GPT3.5 model? Why GPT4? Now, why they are working on GPT5? So, without knowing the limitation of each and every uh, language models, we cannot know the real power of those language models, right? So, that is why whenever you're using this AI tool, you must know what is the language model used to be handled? What is the limitation of it? What is the power of it? That's when you will understand the real picture of it. Okay, so why looking into this language model is important. Here, I just put this point. The language model of an AI tool defines its abilities and its limitation. Without knowing the limitation, if you're just simply using it, you will not get the entire picture about it. So you must know the free version of ChatGPT and the free version of Perplexity both uses G, sorry, uh, GPT 3.5 model. All right, we know that yeah, OpenAI they released GPT 3, G point, GPT 3.5 model. But we have already told you that this company they just uh, made this. GPT models, all the versions of GPT models as an API. So any companies can use those API and develop their own applications and they will release it and they will have their own budget. And when this company is using OpenAI's API, they will be paying some service cost to this particular company. That's for sure. All right. And I've already talked about that in the previous video. That's how perplexity.ai used GPT 3.5 as an API and they developed their own application and they released it. And that's why they are moving from perplexity.ai free version version to pro version. I'll talk about the different versions, what they have, but let's try to understand who are the target audience for them. Content creators, researchers, students, developers, who are wanted to create some new content, research in a better way, need to have a better research experience they are using these both the tools and they are 
they are really good with respect to the experience. But now, perplexity.ai, they came after ChatGPT. When some tool is coming after another tool, that in the that is in a, you know, serving the same goal. There should be some difference, right? What perplexity.ai found in this a uh, chat GPT so that they released it. That's what my next two point is. So they found out the response format we need to change. The response format, this column is speaking about what? Sorry, this column is speaking about uh chat GPT. Uh, and this column is speaking about um uh what is this uh, perplexity.ai, right? So this chat GPT is able to provide only the summary, but apart from summary, I wanted to provide a lot of stuff. So here I'll just take one particular prompt that is take me an AI tour from 19th century till today. All right, let me ask this particular question in this chat GPT. Let me just ask this. So this gives me only the summary, all right, in 19th century to early 20, what happened? But when I'm just asking the same question in perplexity.ai, see this is what the UI of perplexity.ai will look like. It is giving me the YouTube links already even the youtube videos is getting played and also from where exactly the content has been taken that resource page i'm able to access it so here it is a total summary so summary plus resource page plus that links plus videos i'm able to access in this perplexity.ai but rather than chat gpt i'm able to see only the total summary so that's what the key difference what perplexity people they found okay i wanted to come up with something new that's why here i just put in this point that summary plus relevant resource Sources, plus links, plus videos, even in free version, perplexity.ai, they released it. And that's why within a year, they are able to go for a massive hit in the market. Or they're also a big um, platform. They're also big community users for this perplexity.ai, and I'm also one among them. Okay. But I've already told about this web chat GPT in chat GPT, if you're integrating, you're able to access the uh, real-time information and uh, you will be able to get it. Because in chat GPT, it does not provide information after September 2021. In my previous content, I've just added this web chat GPT as an extension in chat GPT and I've showed you how it is able to get the relevant information. And even there, if you're adding it, you'll be able to provide the resource links from where exactly it has got it, but not YouTube video links. You will never get that. Okay. That is why they gain the gap. So where perplexity.ai, they are able to provide that video links as well. All right. And if you take only this chat GPT information, if you take it, September 2021. Let's remove this web GPT. Okay. Now the comparison between so, chat GPT versus perplexity.ai. If you ask for information to chat GPT, give me a recent GST update. Okay. Let me copy this question. So because I'm going to ask the same question to uh, say, I apologize. It does not have this recent update, but let me just ask the same question in perplexity.ai. So it is connecting to the web browser and I'm able to see the responses. So it will be see this 2023 is able to access it. Now let me go back here. The point is this chat GPT does not generate real time current affair related information, but whereas this perplexity.ai generates that. That's what the other advantage. With respect to the prompt and the answers, both are able to give the best answers. I've checked with by giving this command, write a letter to a manager of Provide to Bridge for giving corporate training at your company for generating a workshop. And this I've tried almost the same answer. It is giving to the best answers. All right. So prompt files, there is no problem. Both are really good. Now there are different versions of, uh, as I said, Chat GPT. Advanced version of Chat GPT we call it as what? Chat GPT Plus. Advanced version of uh, Perplexity we call it as Perplexity Pro. It is already there in the website. If you click on this perplexity.ai, learn more. Perplexity Pro. If you look into the billing part, monthly we, if you want to go for this, twenty. See this here in the Pro version we are able to use GPT four models. Even in chat GPT uh, plus model, GPT for advanced model, right? So we can use it. So where the only difference is perplexity.ai, it can be built monthly and also yearly. But if you look into this particular, uh, what is this? Uh, chat GPT, it can be built only yearly. Sorry, you build only monthly. That is the difference. So based on your own preferences, whatever you like it, you can just go ahead and pick it up. Now the question, the real question we have, who is the winner? Okay, who is the winner between chat GPT and perplexity.ai. We have seen both the chat GPT and also perplexity.ai both the same purpose. I want to, let me just quickly show you this. I want to go for better search experience. Free versions I'm talking about, GPT 3.5 it has, and the target audience are same. Only thing is what? With respect to the prompt response, what exactly it is able to do. So with respect to the free version, here, um, 
as perplexity.ai is giving a summary relevant sources plus links plus videos this stands out when compared to this chat gpt but however with respect to the responses what we are able to receive from this particular uh, chat gpt and also uh, this one uh, perplexity.ai the responses or uh, the 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 answers which i'm getting from the chat gpt is comparatively too detailed with respect to uh, perplexity.ai. It's just a big difference, not big uh, problem at all. That's why I say chat GPT gives the best summary, but perplexity gives summary plus relevant resources. So in case, if your goal is to get the resources and also the summary, go ahead with perplexity.ai. Okay, do not, I'm not focusing on the resources, just summary, uh, give the summary and give me the best content, go ahead with chat GPT. That's how we differentiate between this. So this is my uh, uh, thought or my answer here. Now, what is your thought on this particular question? Chat GPT versus per perplexity. What do you like? You can just leave your thoughts on the comment section below. In case if you are using it, well and good. In case if you do not use it, use it and then leave your comments in the comment section below. All right. So now it's the ball is on your court. Explore this and then let me know whether this content is really useful to you all or not. We all are living in this digital transformation era and it is really, really must and we all are being forced to learn this all AI tools or else, if you're not getting adopted, then definitely will be pushed out of the market. So stay updated in case if this content helped you, share among your network and feel free to uh, learn uh, on an everyday basis. And also put your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you so much. Bye.